here with Rachel Nichols, and she is the star of the highly anticipated new sci-fi, I, I don't know if I want to call it sci-fi, kind of, yeah, post-apocalyptic <laughs> um, series that's going to be launching on Showcase uh, very, very soon. Um, tell us a little bit about your character on the show. Um, you know, the, the show starts off in, in 2077. And um, I'm a law enforcement officer in the future. I'm, I'm a protector. That's what we're called then. And uh, we're about to put seven terrorists to death. We're about to execute seven terrorists. And um, through um, a, a series of events and, and mechanisms and secrets that I will not reveal, I find myself thrown back 65 years to the year 2012 with seven terrorists. So uh, I'm future cop fighting criminals from the future in 2012. So that's sort of the, that's the really concise version of where we're going with this. I like to always say to people, imagine if you woke up tomorrow and it was, you know, 1947. Yeah. And you've also left behind a family in the future. I've also left or, or behind my you... son and my husband. Yes. And that's, a, that's, that's something that always has to be with Kira, the, you know, for the for whole, obviously, 10 episodes that we shot. There's always got to be the, initially it's the, I've got to get home now, I've got to get home now, I've got to get home now, and then it becomes, it sinks in, it's a very real possibility that, that I may not get home, but mm -hmm. while I'm here, I still have to fight the same battle that I was fighting in 2077, I'm just, just got to make some new friends and, you know, figure out how to maneuver in, the, in this new new age. Uh, and not to mention with the technology still being in its infancy, I've, I've seen the pilot and Wow, what a ride that was. Um, the technology, you know, kind of seeing it in its early stages and not quite sure how to use it yet. Mm -hmm. um, uh, my big question is, is we're going to, are we going to see, um, without really giving anything away, how, you know, you being back in time is possibly going to influence where that goes? Yeah, that's, that's, that's a huge part of it, obviously. Um, I'm coming back 65 years and then one of the my you know the, the voice in my head this this relationship that I have with the Eric uh, Alex Adler character his name is Eric Knudsen it's mm -hmm. very amazing. Um, in 2077 Alex Adler basically runs the world I mean he's sort of he's extremely powerful he's created yeah. all of this tech it's all him sad tech um, and I come back and and he's 17 in uh, uh, 2012 and so I know who he is in the future and then I end up only because of my suit, because of the frequency that my suit is operating on is a normal frequency in the future, but it's operational here, and he's the one that's on the frequency, and he thinks I'm an interloper, and I'm saying, I need backup, who is this? And then slowly, and yet very quickly, yep. I realize who he is, and he realizes, oh, wow, she is actually from the future. And so then you start wondering, well, how much information do I give him, and if I give him the suit that he doesn't, or if I give him access to this, that something that he doesn't invent for another... 40 years, you know, it's, it's all very much of, am I ruining the future that I just came from so that I have no future to go back to? And if, and especially having a child there, yeah. like, well, one little thing you do in the past, it's alter that, it's that. that theory of, you know, a the, butterfly flap. Exactly. Wings. Very much that theory. And that's one of the most interesting things about the show is, and I'm on a need to know basis. I told Simon Gray I had to be on a need to know basis because I don't want to know the secrets either. I want to mm -hmm. know. As, as they come out, but the rules for time travel, what, we're breaking some, you know, serious rules here, what are the repercussions going to be, and, mm -hmm. and we start figuring that out pretty quickly. Yeah, um, the other thing I really noticed is how relevant the themes are right now, with everything that's gone on in the world, like in the past decade, and in, even in the past year, with, with things like the Occupy movement and everything, and Basically, the, the, the evil, like the evil is capitalism. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a neat concept. You're not dealing with, you know, aliens. You're not dealing with um, machines. You're, you're dealing with a, an idea and people's response to an idea. Mm -hmm. What was your go-to thing to kind of get into the right headspace, perhaps, to... Uh... Um, you know, I... It, it is very... It's very interesting, given what we've painted 27, 2077 to be and then coming to, to present day and, and dealing with, you know, Kira in, in 2077 knows who she is. She mm -hmm. knows what she wants. She knows what her job is. She knows right, she, she knows right from wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, she's black and white, who the good guys are, who the bad guys are, who she's fighting for. She knows all that. She's 100% sure of it. Mm -hmm. Back in 2020, 2012 for a little bit 
And suddenly she's on some shaky ground. You know, one man's terrorist is another man's freedom fighter. Yeah. She's got to ask herself a lot of questions because now she's seeing how these groups, like, liberate, you know, the mm -hmm. terrorist group that she's chasing, um, how they started. She, she sees these seeds being planted, and she sees the reason why. And then it becomes, wait a minute, am I fighting the right fight? That's exactly it. You call into question everything that everything, you stood for. Everything. And I... And it's it, and that's another reason that I love her and I love the show is because there is that suddenly I'm standing on very what 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 I was so sure of mm -hmm. I'm losing faith in, but it breaks my heart to lose faith in who I really am at the core and I'm constantly having to adjust to to be in my my new surroundings in this new world and that's what's so interesting and that's why it's such a it's such a smart show because. For me, it, it didn't obviously drastically change me, Rachel, and, and mm -hmm. my viewpoints, but yeah. it makes you think. Yeah, calls things into question, yeah. definitely. Um, I have been so impressed with the, especially on, on Showcase, the, the really, really powerful w female characters that there are now, and the heroes being women. Um, to step into a role like this, like as, as an actor, I, I'm guessing it has to be kind of gratifying. Oh, yeah. I mean, there wasn't... When I read the script, there wasn't one part of her I didn't desire to play. Um, mm -hmm. And and this is the first time I've played a mom. And I and I love it. I'm obviously not a mother yet. I will be one day. Um, and the idea that I'm ripped away from my child and that there's that emotional part mm -hmm. of the show. It's a very weighty part because it comes... It travels with me everywhere because I have this son and this husband. And then... There's also obviously the, the total physicality of it. I love physical roles, whether it was Alias or Conan or G.I. Joe. You give me a gun and you let me <laughs> kick some butt and I'm into it. I will do every and any stunt that they allow me to do without worrying that I'm going to hurt myself. And I'm really zealous about stuff like that. And then there, there are these other great characters and great actors playing them. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the casting was so good, but when I read it, and as the season unravels, a lot of things change within the Liberate group. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, things change with Carlos and I, even with Alec. And Kira is the glue that holds all of it together. Mm -hmm. And I love that. Who wouldn't want to be that? Yeah, exactly. I'm guessing a lot of my readers haven't really heard much about the show yet besides like what we've shared with them um what if you could give them like kind of one message as to why they should tune in besides it being a really good series mm -hmm. um what do you think that they have to look forward to what would you say was the the best part about why they should like the one reason if you had to give one reason well i think that the way that i look at it is i feel as though i could go out on the street right now and i could say to any person what do you want in a you know one hour drama on TV, what do you want? And I'm pretty much sure. I'm pretty sure that any response they gave, I could find that in our show somewhere mm -hmm. because it's the awesome sci-fi escapist, totally cool tech, different, new, exciting. The production value looks it looks awesome. Mm -hmm. It's not. We didn't make 2077 look cheap. It looks fantastic. So we have that mechanism paired with you know there is the cop drama. There is that bit of procedural there, which mm -hmm. you know you could sit me in front of an episode of Law and Order and I'll watch it even if I've already seen it. I'm yeah. one of those girls. Mm -hmm. And then there are these characters and I think people really go back to shows because they love the characters. Mm -hmm. And this is a huge ensemble show and we have a lot of characters and they change. We're, we just because of the time travel and the new environment, the characters are constantly changing so there's really there's something for everyone and I, I wholeheartedly believe that and I think anyone that's looking for something on TV it's in the show somewhere. 